Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last two videos, I have been showing you how to uh, create a PDF file using your iText Sharp D DLL in your Visual Basic Windows Form application. And in the last video, I have shown you how to draw, create a list in your PDF file. And in this video, I will show you how to uh, add image in your PDF file using your Visual Basic Windows Form application and iText Sharp DLL. So let's get started. I have created this button already and I have already created this code to create a PDF file. So if you don't know, just watch the last two videos and you know how I made this uh, code. So this is, I will just go through this code really fast. This is a try catch block and I'm catching any exception if it occurs. And in the try block, I'm just defining uh, the variable called PDF doc as new document. And in the second line, I'm defining and giving my PDF file a name. So I will write dem PDF write as PDF writer is equal to PDF writer dot get instance. And in the bracket, just pass the arguments this argument as a first argument and the second argument is the new file stream and in the bracket your file name or pdf file name which you want to give comma file mode dot create okay and then we open the pdf doc to write in it so i will write pdf doc dot open and then i have created a paragraph which i have already shown you how to create a paragraph in the pdf file so just write pdf doc dot add and in the bracket just write new paragraph show image and at the last before this catch block just close this pdf document by writing pdf doc dot close and in between i will write the code to add an image so I have an image in my binary folder so when I click my solution explorer I will go to open folder in windows explorer and then I will go to bin folder where my debug folder is there and in here I have my executable file for my um, for my project and here I have been creating the simple pdf and here I have a picture called vb 36 and when I open it you can see a picture and this picture I want to show in my PDF file okay so how can I do this so in here just write the code this line so just create an variable of image so just write dim img this is the variable name as image is equal to image dot get instance and you are getting the instance from this PDF file which is vb36.png I have already shown you this is the name of my Visual Basic file so what you can do is you can give the full path of uh, the PNG file like this so it's a full path of the PNG file but you need to add double slashes to your path Otherwise, if your PNG file is PNG or any other JPG or whatever file you want is in your bin folder, which is which contains your uh, executable file here, then you don't need to give any path. You can just write the name of the path because it sees this path automatically if it's already in the binary folder. Okay and I've, then I will just copy this PDF doc which is my PDF document dot add I will say and in the bracket I will pass my IMG image and these two lines will add an image to your PDF document so let's try and run the program and I click let me show you first of all my PDF file before clicking the before clicking the create PDF button okay so right now I was testing the PDF file and I'm going to show you how to 
add this PDF file and how, how to give the border to my PDF file okay so right now I'm just adding the this PNG image okay so I will close this PDF and I will run my program I will say create PDF and now when I see my simple dot PDF here you can see this show image is created and the image size will be the actual size of the image and for example you want to uh, reduce the size of the image how can you reduce the size of the image I will just show you so go to the code once again and in between here when you declare your image variable and you add your image to the document in between this just write these two lines so first line is img dot scale percent so I have uh, given 50 percent to the image so I have reduced the size of my image by half right and in the second line I have written img dot scale to fit 250 by 250 so it will be a square image right now and this is the scale of the size okay now when I run the program once again and I show click sh create PDF and I open my simple PDF and now my image size is reduced and the percentage is reduced by it is reduced by 50% okay now for example I want to add the border to my PDF file so just go this below this uh, scaling and just add these three lines of code to add a border so just write img dot border is equal to rectangle box okay so just write this line and then once again write img dot border color this will define the color of your border is equal to itext sharp dot text dot base color dot whatever color you want right now I have selected yellow color but you can select any color for example black blue there are some options here for example I want to add this green color to my image and then in the next line just write img dot border width so this will be the width of your border right now I have set my width as 5 let's make it 10 to then it will show bigger border width now I will run the program and I will click create PDF and once again I will see my PDF file and you can see I have my picture and I have the border which is green and which is of width 10 okay so in this way you can add a image to your PDF file using iTex sharp DLL and Visual Basic Windows form application so this is the code so if you want just pause the video and copy the code and you will be good to go I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now